Hey guys, welcome! In today's video I'll be trying Korean makeup brands and I'm so excited because I've never tried anything like this before. I am absolutely obsessed with Korea and their beauty, music, food, everything is just so incredible. So today's video is kindly sponsored by Stylivana, which is the ultimate shopping destination for K-beauty and skincare. They kindly offer me all these beautiful products, but as always, my opinion will be all mine, and if I won't like something, I will let you know. As well as little discount code, which you'll see somewhere there. Go get yourself some Korean beauties, because they are definitely worth the price. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the video because my face is glowing and my soul is shining. So I'll be starting off with this Dew Jelly Vegan Cushion from a brand called Amuse, which I heard is really popular in Korea. This is a jelly vegan cushion that contains 70% gel-based scent made from hypoallergenic clean vegan ingredients. This comes in three shades, and the shade that I've got is 01 Sonso. So let's crack this open and see how this vegan jelly looks like. This must be one of the fanciest packaging I've seen in a while. Look how lush this looks it's unbelievable and i have to press here so i can open it like this and then i take this little pad sort of thing out and this is how i'm opening it on this side and then we opening from here which looks like this wow that looks very fancy and it says i'm vegan jelly with a little smile this is so kawaii i know i love it i am sold it says spf 38 va++ which is really cool because i forget to put spf on my face Oh, this is so amazing. This feels like a little cushion. I mean, I've never tried a cushion in my life and I was like, what on earth is this? And I'm like, oh, this is fancy stuff. So you tap it right here. It feels very soft. It feels very bouncy. Like, wow. Now, yeah, this is how it looks. Wow, it feels very glowy, very dewy. It's basically like a skin tint with very low coverage, but like so much protection and it's so dewy and nice. It feels very, very hydrating and that's because it's vegan. It has more than 70% of natural ingredients. I would totally recommend this on a daily basis, just like a little touch up. Now, I felt a little bit naked, so I had to add some proper foundation and concealer. For the powder, I'm gonna use this peach cotton multi finish powder from a brand called Skin Food, and I'm all here for it because we all love some food, especially some food for the skin, right? Crack it open. Oh, it has again this gorgeous pad. I think they're really into that. Oh, and this feels so soft. Oh, look at that. Look at this oh my goodness oh that smells so beautiful that smells like fresh peaches in the morning oh my goodness i'm loving it now i'm gonna use this small puff and try to powder my face my skin is very oily and this is exactly what it's for it says it's for oily skin now that powder mattified my face so well like i'm actually impressed i thought it's gonna leave some white traces but it got soaked in my skin so well now i'm so excited for the next product because the next product is the blush and I love a good blush like in fact I am obsessed with blushes at the moment so the blush that I'll be using today is from a brand called Holika Holika and the blush is called Jelly Doe Blusher in the shade number two grapefruit it seems like a theme going on because all of them has this cute little cushions which you can tap nicely and put it on your face they are very cute but I don't think they're very functional like I still prefer to use my beauty blender on my usual brush but that's fine the color looks really pretty it's supposed to be like a jelly sort of consistency oh my god that feels so smooth that looks beautiful a little bit and tapping on my face oh that's really nice oh my goodness the color is gorgeous and it blends so nicely it's so creamy look at this that is beautiful oh i love a good blush and this shade is so gorgeous 
Okay, this blush is so pigmented, like it's unreal. It's so creamy, the texture is so fun and nice, like the jelly thing. And it's just so beautiful, like the perfect apricot shade of grapefruit or whatever. Like, it's not too heavy and the applicator is so cold, even though I don't know if I will use it, but somewhere in the trip. Next up, I'm gonna move into my eyes, baby. Eyes, eyes, baby. For my eyes, I'm gonna use this super fancy looking eyeshadow palette from a brand called Unleashia or Unleashia. I'm not sure if I pronounce it right, but it's definitely one of those Korean brands. And it says different textures and glitter, eyeshadows from daily to fabulous, shading to glittering, learn how to formulate the look you want. Like, this is so gorgeous. Look at this packaging. It looks like a little book and it opens like this. Wow! Look at this palette, look at these colors! I'm gonna lie, at the first glance I thought that these shimmers are gonna be quite chunky, but I'm gonna swatch them and see how they are. Ooh la la, look at that! Oh my, I wasn't wrong. This looks very, very chunky, but sometimes we need that little chunk of glitter on our eyes just to create those special looks might not be your everyday palette because obviously you're not gonna wear lavender every day or maybe you will if you are very fancy but i'm gonna try and create a super nice and simple look and yeah i didn't tell you this eyeshadow palette is called number four all of lavender Fog. the only minus is that this palette doesn't have a mirror so i'll have to work with this one which might be a little bit inconvenient but it's okay we can live with that mirror less less packaging that's good so i'm gonna start up with the shade in the corner which is called blue sea dust i mean quite far from blue it's more like a subtle pink Ooh, for a neutral color is very pigmented i am already impressed added the tiniest amount and it looks already there like now i'm gonna go with this shade which is called purple moon now I'm gonna go with this shade, which is like a very nice dark lila, and this shade is called Alum. I think I'm gonna go for this one, which feels quite jelly, very, very glittery, like look at this, you can see pieces of glitter on my finger, but that's okay, we will work with this. So glittery, oh my goodness. I never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually more impressed by the matte colors. Like, they're so easy to blend and so pigmented. I'm not a big fan of chunky glitters. Like, if you don't like that, then maybe this palette is not for you. But the mattes are really nice. Now I'm gonna disappear, do my other eye and be right back. The next up is a mascara and I have here Dailism Smudge Stop Mascara from the brand Hamish or Hymish Long Lash Curling Mascara that can be easily cleansed with David or Tippet water. And if it's Smudge Stop, I'm here for it because I haven't found until now a good mascara that actually doesn't smudge by the end of the day like regardless high-end drugstore all of them just end up under my eyes and that's the most annoying thing ever so obviously the most amazing indicator again made in korea why do i even say that everything is made in korea in this video and this is how it looks like let's crack this open and see how it's like oh we have a curly brush and it looks promising this is how it looks like, so let's try it. I don't have any faith in mascaras anymore. Oh yeah, it gives them a really nice volume. Okay, good volume, easy to apply. And if it's not gonna smudge, then this mascara is a dream. It's not a mascara. Now I'm gonna move on into the lips because they've been neglected for way too long. And for them, I'm gonna use this Unleashia Non-Stick Diesel Tint, which I think is the same brand as the eyeshadow palette. Like, it's exactly the same. I think it's a very famous Korean brand and I've seen it on a couple of websites sites like pure seal dakota uk i think a style all of that and it says 
water glossy lip tint vegan cruelty free number 11 gentle tiger wowza we are here for a good name and it says celebrate your everyday i mean i love good makeup and especially positive makeup because this is what is about makeup oh my goodness look at that i did not expect this oh smells so nice oh one of the pluses of the korean makeup they put so much care hmm it feels very very nice it's not sticky feels hydrating and it gave me just a very nice subtle sort of red color just to not say that i don't have anything on my lips and i love it i like it wow that's that's quite nice and finishing off this makeup look i'm gonna use this makeup setting fixer from a brand called frugia long lasting dewy finish all day holding eve vegan and i really love the packaging once again it feels so nice like a very interesting texture and the lid is like sort of marble effect like how much attention to detail in these products is beyond my words oh that smells incredible and the mist is very nice it's quite fine i like it and i hope it works so here's my finished look using only makeup products from korea and i am impressed i really loved it like they were so incredible i especially loved the mascara which was pretty good also the lip tint very nice very moist and as well the blush like so gorgeous so pigmented i am speechless and i'll be definitely keep using these products also don't forget about my discount code which is going to be here somewhere on the screen for a little discount get yourself some nice korean beauty products because they definitely worth it i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a big thumbs up do subscribe down below and until next time mwah, bye